this data encryption system the most popular cipher ever this data encryption system has been around for many decades and it protected the uh, confidentiality and the secrets of many banks many enterprises and individuals it's the workhorse of cryptography it was designed by IBM on the request of the government and IBM has done a good job but it has never released the design consideration as we will see in a moment there are a lot of arbitrary uh, steps which someone would ask why is that why not something different not clear and therefore a suspicious mind now many of them in uh, the cryptographic uh, world suspect that IBM uh, very smartly designed a backdoor so that the government can uh, crack what other people's other people uh, see as a uh, formidable cipher they cannot uh, breach so let's see what this is about this is a uh, is a block cipher. What does it mean? It means that if we have a plain text, this is some kind of a story that we want to keep confidential, or a bank statement, or a wire, or whatever it is. Some combination, some sequence of symbols. What this, this does, it cuts it to blocks, 64 bits, in each block, 64 bits, 64 bits, etc. And if at the end there are some uh, blocks, some bits that are missing, it uh, pads them so that the last block will be 64. So that's the first thing that you do when you operate this. You chop the entire plain text into 64 bits, 64 bits, 64 bits. And then you pick a key. A key is 56 bits that are to remain secret. The entire uh, efficacy of this is based on the assumption that you could keep those 56 bits secret. And the idea of why 56 is that if you have 56 bits, you have 2 to the 56, which is a huge number of possible keys, what we call the key space. And at the time uh, when this was invented, uh, in the 70s, uh, computers were uh, not fast enough to try the brute force approach, which is try every possible key until you find the right one. But uh, computers have uh, become faster, and today this is considered insecure just because of the speed of computers. Not because someone found some uh, formerly hidden uh, uh, mathematical insight, and nobody discovered a backdoor so far but just because of the speed but just because of the speed of the uh, computers 2 to the power 56 size key space is not enough but there are some remedies something called triple uh, desk where you use two keys and then you have 2 to the power of uh, 112 
which is much, much bigger, and even today's computers have a hard time uh, handling it. But anyway, let's go to the basics. 56 bits, that's the key. And this is a box into which we input a block of 64 bits from the plain text. Input the key, which is 56 bits, which is our secret selection. Only us and the intended reader knows it. And when we finish the manipulation of the encryption here, what we get out of it is 64 bits of ciphertext. So 64 bits of plain text fed into the encryption box of this together with 56 bits of key they are churn and churn and churn and what comes out is a block of the same size 64 bits of ciphertext and you take this block and you put it here the side and then what do you do you take the second block and feed it to the same box using the same key you don't change the key from block to block you use the same key so the second block now goes here we finished with the first one and now we feed the second one with the key turn it around and get another 64 bits of ciphertext what do we do with it lay it here next to it concatenate and then we continue it's the third the fourth until we finish the entire plain text and every time that we do so we keep adding the uh, block after block after the block to the cipher text when we are done we take the cipher text and we send it over insecure lines to the intended reader so the intended reader received over insecure line the cipher text which he knows is a concatenation of 64 bits blocks 64 bits 64 bits etc etc that's what he receives now what he does he takes the first block and uh, inputs it into the block which represent the desk decryption that is the mechanism that takes the ciphertext uses the key which should be the very same key that's why it's called a symmetrical cipher the very same key that was used for encryption is used for decryption and the result here is the plain text first block which is as we designed it 64 bits and the reader writes it here and then it goes to the second cipher block and feed this to the same box with the same key and what he gets here is the second plain text block also 64 bits and he puts it here and on he goes the third the fourth until he finishes the entire cipher text when he is done what he sees here is the original plain text the original secret decrypted the case is done that is the overall picture of how this works now we will open this box of the decryption or the encryption. We see that the uh, decryption is simply the reverse operation from the encryption. And when we take a look into this box, we see something very interesting. If you recall the uh, four major primitives of cryptography, substitution, transposition, concatenation, 
uh, and the split and bitwise operation. All four are used here. And I used here again and again and again, practicing the principle of re-encryption by mixing and churning and mixing and churning the bits so badly so that without the key it would be impossible to look at this and find what is the corresponding plate text. So that's the overall picture. It is block cipher, it is symmetric, you use the same key for encryption and the same for decryption. The size of the key is 56 bits and the uh, uh, inside the operation is uh, successive rounds of transposition and substitution and split and concatenation and bitwise operation. And that's what this is.